Uh, hi, that's uh, the second part of Unity 3D applications uh, architecture. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the video's quality and sound if it's not so good. I really tried to make my best effort to record a good video. So, uh, last time I started talking about uh, architecture in my Unity 3D applications. Today I'll uh, continue this topic and especially I'm gonna be more detailed about Strange IOC. Uh, as you know, uh, from the first part I use Strange IOC as a main framework in my application. Uh, it really helps me to organize my code in, really, in a very good way. It gives me an opportunity to, uh, to use dependency injection and uh, signals as well. Uh, what is really a good adventure, especially if you are working on uh, some big application. Uh, okay, uh, let's start. Um, as I said uh, in my last video, the main part of uh, uh, my applications is, uh, is a core scene. Here it is. Uh, the root object uh, of the core scene is core context view. Uh, this is a class which uh, uh, inherits uh, context view strangers class and uh, it runs uh, uh, since context at startup. Since context uh, is a class which inherits MV. Um, VCS context, uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, the, strange, uh, the strange class as well. Uh, actually, every uh, strange scene must contain context U, and this class must run uh, uh, strange context. Uh, uh, context contains uh, uh, map bindings method uh, map bindings method uh, where you should declare uh, your bindings uh, here you see I binded IDB service to parts uh, DB service and I marked it uh, as cross context and uh, uh, a singleton uh, and with uh, this row, I just uh, said, uh, hey, strange, uh, when I uh, declare uh, IDB service uh, property, please initialize uh, parse DB service uh, uh, object uh, for me and make it uh, as a singleton object. And uh, as I uh, marked it, uh, Cross context, it will uh, be available over all context in my application. Uh, such approach allows me to avoid strong connections in my application. Here, my database service uh, is like a brick uh, with a given shape, IDB service. I can replace this uh, brick with another one uh, which uh, has the same shape uh, by just replacing the name class in, uh, in one place here. Uh, uh, it's really a good practice. Okay, move on. Let's have a look on some uh, game scene. Uh, in my uh, application, example this one. Uh, uh, here there is a view. This. Uh, in my case, uh, this view is responsible for the main game logic and uh, contains all visible objects on the scene. You can see it. Uh, actually, you can have uh, many views on uh, your scene, but uh, 
Each of them uh, have to be responsible only for the object's logic, which it is connected with. Uh, the views uh, script uh, uh, inherits uh, uh, event view strangers class and uh, it's uh, responsible for the game logic on this particular view. Uh, a startup uh, a mediator will be added to this game object as well. This, <laughs> this game object. Uh, I configured it in my context. Let me uh, show you. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 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 here you see uh, I binded uh, uh, my main view to main view mediator. Uh, mediators uh, are responsible for the connection, the, uh, the view and uh, the other part of the application. It's in, uh, it uh, can include uh, some uh, uh, the views logic as well. Strange doesn't make you uh, use it, but it will be re it will uh, really help you as your app application grows. It adds a little bit more work, but uh, it makes your application's architecture much more transparent. Believe me, I know what I am talking about. Uh, for an example, uh, 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 I dispatch a signal to the character uh, to change uh, his emotion, depending on user action. And uh, that's how I connect uh, uh, this view with another one. Now, uh, let me tell you a little uh, about the signals. You can see, uh, you can inject uh, signals anywhere, uh, can dispatch them within a, a context, between context or, or locally. Uh, you can dispatch signal with uh, types uh, saved data. data. Uh, let me see an example. Uh, uh, here I uh, injected uh, my uh, change character emotion signal uh, in my main view mediator and uh, 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 and uh, this signal I uh, declared in uh, uh, my context. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can see I uh, declared uh, my uh, change uh, change character emotion signal uh, to a sing uh, to a singleton object. Uh, it means uh, I'll, uh, I'll get uh, the only object uh, where over uh, all application life when uh, uh, when I uh, injected it. Uh, mm. Uh, and uh, to dispatch uh, uh, this signal, uh, I uh, mm, 
I just uh, need to to call the uh, dispatch method and uh, to give uh, to it a type of parameter. In my case, uh, uh, this is parameter with a type character motion type. This is uh, just enough. But you can uh, dis uh, dispatch uh, all uh, types of data. That's not a problem. Uh, to receive this signal, I just need to add li uh, listener. Uh, sorry, uh, one second. I'll show you. Uh, Uh, to receive this signal, uh, you need to uh, just add a list here. Uh, first of all, you just need to inject it, this signal where you want to receive it. Uh, and uh, on, uh, uh, on startup, you need to add a list here. And uh, then you have to remove the list here when uh, you don't need uh, this anymore. Well, uh, as for mediators, uh, uh, I uh, can do it by on uh, register method and uh, on remove method. Uh, why should you use uh, signals instead of Unis uh, send message method? Well, uh, the answer is uh, it's really much more convenient. You don't need uh, to send it uh, to a particular uh, game object. You just send it uh, and receive where you want. Uh, the second reason is that you, you declare a uh, type uh, of your parameters and you don't need to derive, uh, to derive uh, the types in receivers. So, uh, that's... Uh, my uh, little view uh, what a strange IOC is and that's it for today please uh, click li uh, like and share buttons and uh, write me your questions if you have them I'll be really pleased to answer on the, them thank you, bye